So if you're thinking about getting a Tesla or you have one on delivery soon, or maybe you're unaware of some of these settings, there's some things you need to change or think about changing from day one, and we're gonna go over exactly what those changes are. So these come from my opinions over driving 10,000 miles in my Model 3, and there's some settings changes, some hacks, if you will, of your Tesla that you wanna at least be aware of to not only make your drive more comfortable and easy to use, but also could save you some money. So let's get into exactly what those are. So if you're unaware, your Tesla gets over-the-air updates, software updates that happen over the internet. Well, if you do not set up your Tesla to your Wi-Fi, then you're not gonna get these technology and software updates that make your Tesla better. And that's the whole thing, the unique thing with a Tesla, is they're getting these over-the-air updates that make your car's performance, the look of the vehicle, the dashboard, the screen, a lot better. So you wanna make sure to set up that Wi-Fi as soon as you get your Tesla home because you do not want to miss any of those over the air updates. So after driving 10,000 miles, another thing you want to do that I want to quickly add is get those accessories before you start driving the car. On day one, you really want those accessories to protect your carpet, to protect the outside of your vehicle. We're going to keep this short, but all the best accessories are in the description below. So check those out, the list of the ones I use constantly. So how much does it cost? Now that you have your Tesla home, or maybe you're thinking about a Tesla, how much does it cost to charge your car? Well, to keep the answer short, we have a full charging video, but the answer is around seven to nine dollars to fill up the entire car with energy, so much less than gas. But what is a setting hack that will save you even more money? And let's go over what that is. So if you're unaware, you're being charged by the kilowatt hour to charge your Tesla. And the way that it works is you can actually schedule off-peak charging. So there's peak charging where most customers are using energy and you could assume that off-peak charging is maybe that overnight time where there's not as many lights and energy flowing right in your region. So you can actually go on the Tesla app and schedule your charging to happen at off-peak hours, saving you even more money. You can actually schedule a departure all under settings. So these are things you wanna set up if you naturally have, let's say a nine to five, you're leaving at the same time every morning and you have that car plugged in, set up off-peak charging to save you even more money and that scheduled departure time will make your battery the most efficient it can possibly be by doing things like preconditioning and getting that car and battery ready for that departure. So this is a good hack or a good setting that you wanna set up right away, and that is the driver profile setting. So whenever you pick up your Tesla, the Tesla rep will create a driver profile where you can change things like the seat incline or the steering wheel or the side mirrors, all of those uh, typical items. But did you know it's really smart to set up a driver profile for everyday living? And what I mean is we have a car seat setting. So whenever I get in the car and I load my child into the car, I click the car seat setting and I automatically have all the seats slide forward to load the uh, car seat and everything like that easier. You can do the same thing if you have groceries or gear from a sporting event, whatever it happens to be. I would definitely recommend, think about how often you're in and out of your car and you can choose those settings for that or other passengers. So here's one that separates your car from any other car on the road, and that is the acceleration modes. Now, when you first get your car home, you wanna go into the acceleration modes and think about, well, which mode do I want? There's chill mode, there's sport mode, and for those who have a plaid, there is insane mode. Now, for the most part, we're gonna have chill and sports. And what does that really mean? Why should you change from one or the other? Well, chill mode is actually going to get you more range. And as you can imagine, if you were to put your foot to the floor and you hit that pedal to accelerate, it's not gonna be as quick as the sport mode. And also, if you do have sport mode, not only are you gonna go faster, but keep in mind, you're also gonna wear out your tires more quickly. Now, another setting and feature of your Tesla is the scroll wheels. The right scroll wheel controls a voice command setting of your Tesla. Now, the screen is going to be completely different from anything you've driven before, and it's really easy to use, especially after a while when you get used to it. But what's a secret or a hack that you can use to bypass using the screen? If you wanna keep your eyes on the road, you just picked up your Tesla, maybe you wanna make sure to not be constantly looking down at the settings where you can push the scroll wheel and you can give the Tesla a variety of commands 
from increased fan speed to set driver temperature to 68, whatever you really would like. Uh, you can actually pull up the rear camera and it'll pull up your cameras as you're driving. I want you to know about that because whenever I first got my Tesla, having to look at the screen and learn as you go, if you will, especially the first time on the road can be a little daunting. So you push in the button, the right scroll wheel on your steering wheel and you'll have those secret hacks, those shortcuts to those settings. This setting is not talked about enough, but it is a recent change, a brand new change on the app. And this will actually make your life easier. Well, did you know that you can actually customize the way that your app looks? So if you want the charging port button, maybe the trunk button, the defrost button, you can customize the order that they're gonna show up on the app. And why is this important? Well, if you're constantly having to charge your vehicle, let's say you have a longer commute, well, it's a lot simpler on the home screen of the app to open the charge port than to go into controls and then click the charge port to open it that way. So this is a really good shortcut, especially in the winter time. I found myself using that defroster shortcut quite a bit. And you can actually add sentry mode there as well to quickly and securely turn on sentry mode all through the app and saving you time. So just so you know, you can customize which icons you see on your screen in the Tesla as well for safe and quick access to some of those settings. And you can actually see the two most frequently used apps on that screen as well on the right side of all of your apps on that main home screen. So we can go on and on. There's so many cool settings of your Tesla and we'll do a future deep dive of more and more of those settings. So make sure to stay tuned for these future settings and hack videos. But again, this is Matt from Funk to Trunk. If you do like this content, make sure to drop a like. That's the only way I know that you enjoyed it and consider subscribing for future hacks and tips and reviews of your Tesla. And we will see you in the next video.